comfortable, you know? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening for whatever time you are watching this video. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, Darina, to your own channel because it, you, it's been a while. You have been here in a minute. Um, but today's video, I just want to record my journey of after I graduated. I haven't necessarily done a lot about while I was in school, but I definitely want to do this next journey and make sure i record that i'm talking about it document it get all that jazz so today i'm going to be talking about post-graduation what's my experience like and we'll jump right in i wanted to take a break i wanted to take a break i knew that was necessary for me not to just jump right into looking for a job while i was in school I was working full time of course i had my internship um, was in a relationship so you know everything that comes with interacting with another individual in an intimate way you know those different dynamics were going on my dad had passed away right before I started school um, so there was a lot going on a lot happening during that time and I just knew like I was overwhelmed while going to school and I wanted to take a break and I wanted to make it a priority to put my self-care first right so that's what I decided to do so everyone else in my cohort is like oh yes I'm gonna be doing this after school I'm working with this program continuing on my internship yada 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 and I'm just like yeah I'm gonna be taking a break like I'm gonna be working the same job. I'm not looking for anything anytime soon. And I'm just doing what I have to do, right? So that was my choice. And honestly, the first couple of months still felt weird. It still felt like, you know, every day, every weekend, I'm like, oh, what do I have to do? What do I need to do? Like, cause I'm still in that mindset of school assignments and papers and, you know, just like making sure I'm not forgetting reading and all my different assignments that I had to do for school so I was still kind of feeling and thinking that way for at least a couple months after I graduated like it was just a really weird feeling um because I was in my program for pretty much two and a half years two and a half years yeah from 20 May 2020 to December 2022 so a good amount of time so during that time, I was still continuing with my internship. Um, the position that I was at, it was under a contract. So for my internship, I did have the, I don't know if I said this before, but I did, I was getting paid to be on my internship, which, which was great, which was amazing. I know it's rare, so couldn't have been more grateful for that. So I was getting paid to be on my internship, the second one, not the first one, the second one. And I started that one in like, um, yeah around june of 2022 you know late may early june somewhere around there so that's when i started that anyways so i was continuing to do that and have my availability to them and honestly they weren't utilizing me a lot um maybe i feel like it was maybe like once every two weeks i would get an assessment to do so i wasn't being utilized a lot which you know i really didn't want but i wanted to make myself available you know have some little extra cash towards the end of the six months i did start to get a little bit bored and maybe a little bit restless of like okay you know i think I, I was mentally preparing for the next phase. I knew it was going to be a lot. I knew it was going to more than likely going back into homes like I was as a case manager. Definitely having a lot more client contact. So I was just like, okay, you know, just like mentally preparing myself. And that's why I took the break. And, but, you know, towards the end, it was kind of like, okay, I think we're ready. Which, you know, lined up perfectly with okay, I want to be done around this time and I want to start looking for a job. So um, also during this time, I started thinking that this would be my time to escape. <laughs> Just kidding. This would be like the most opportune time to move to a new state. So, you know, that was just like really heavy on my mind. And I just kept thinking about it. I was like, oh, I want to move out of Florida. 
I lived in Florida all my life and I know I'm going to move one day, you know, so that's kind of how I calmed that down. But, you know, I, I was living with my parents and I was like, okay, I can, you know, I don't have a lease. I'm going to be leaving the job anyway, so I might as well open the opportunities up, you know, expand my job opportunities by looking in various states and then just, you know, that, that gives me more opportunities to find something because... I wanted to stick with child welfare. That's the field in the area, the population that I want to work with. So I was like, you know, this county, the counties that I'm at, it's limited. You know, why be limited? I'm going to open myself up. You know, I pick from here, pick from there. Open myself up. So that it, it was really strong and heavy on me. But I just kind of calmed it down and just told myself, you know, you definitely, well, actually being in my relationship, calmed it down and then also you know i had to rationalize within myself and say okay yeah we could we could move another time okay it's not the end all be all right here right now so also throughout this time i was a very sedentary for a while um I, even when i had my my periods of when i would work out it wouldn't be uh, I just it, it just wasn't consistent, you know, you know, typical, you go, you start, you fall off, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, um during this time, I had I was going to Zumba, I tried that, you know, working, walking, you know, just trying to be active. So, I implemented that and it's been helpful. I'll get to that in a different video. Um, but that's been helpful too throughout this time. I also did have fun while I was in school. I did not do any traveling, very small. Like I went to Miami, that's a couple hours away from Tampa Bay area, Clearwater, Fort Myers, like very local places. And I like to travel. I like to go explore places. So to celebrate me graduating i went with my stepmom and her parents and we went to new york city we had a ball that was um in december of 2022 and then i finally went to vegas which definitely liked that city um it's a lot of fun it was a good time enjoyed myself i did that in april and eventually there will be videos for both of those cities but I did have some fun I was able to you know I didn't have to tell people like oh I gotta study see see you whenever I was able to go out and have fun and do various a variety of things while I was uh, taking my six month break but as soon as I decided to start looking, I definitely felt that pressure of like, oh my gosh, I need to get a job. Oh my gosh, I need to get a job. You know, as soon as I started like really focusing on putting in applications and I'm going to talk about that in the next in the next video that I'm, I'm recording. It, it'll be the next video for you, hopefully. If you subscribe, put on your notification bell uh, when I'm posting videos. So um, thank you. If you have any questions, if you're, um, you know, starting your graduate program for a uh, master's of social work, just let me know and I can answer whatever questions that you may have. Um, I did enjoy the journey overall, but like I said, I was overwhelmed, so you will be overwhelmed. That, that's not, no, secret. It's not a secret. You're going to be overwhelmed. It's going to be a lot on your plate. You have to be able to push through, organize yourself, um, you know, deny yourself of going to various activities, it, it is a lot. It's a big commitment, but it is worth it. And I will get to that in another video too. So just stay tuned. Any comments, questions, or critiques, leave them down in the comment section and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.